I, when I started learning Arabic, the Arabic language, I was curious about the Quran. I read it in English, but I read the, like a Shakespearean English translation. It was really hard to understand because when I was reading, hast thou not seenest, I was confused because I, I've never talked to my friend and say, hast thou not seenest this movie? Like, <laughs> I don't talk like that. So I, I couldn't figure out what it's saying, really. I had a hard time. So I decided, I found a teacher who said, you can learn Arabic with me. And when we were in the Arabic class, I still remember, there were 10 students in the Arabic class at the masjid after Ramadan, 10 students on the first day. This class was going to go on for three weeks every day, every evening. 10 students the first day, 9 students the second day, 6 students the third day, 3 students the fourth day. And I look around and I'm like, should I also leave? I don't know. <laughs> and the teacher on the third or fourth day, he said, look, People will come and go. And even if none of you come, I will still be here waiting for you. I'll still be here waiting for you. You know why? Because when we do something for Allah, then we don't expect from people. We only expect from Allah. I get paid from Allah, not from you. I'm here for Allah. And when he said that, he believes in barakah. He believes in barakah. Now there's three of us sitting in this class. And even I'm sitting there learning this stuff. And I'm like, what's the point? You know, I might learn this in three weeks, but how am I going to do any more than that? I'm sitting in New York City. I don't have the money to go to Egypt or to go to Cairo or to go to like Morocco or go to Pakistan or Malaysia to study. And I don't have that. I, I got to sit here and get a, you know, I, I come from work and college and do this. For three weeks, what am I going to do after that? How am I ever going to learn? But when Allah puts barakah in something... <laughs> That's not up to us. That is not up to us. When I look back from since 1999 to now, the announcer said I've taught 10,000 students. In all, in, in an accurate estimation, I would say, subhanAllah, till now, live audience, I must have taught at least 70, 80,000 people. Live audiences. And, and just the Arabic classes alone, not durus of Quran, Arabic classes. You know Arabic classes are boring, right? Arabic classes, at least, I know at least I've seen 20,000 people in Arabic classes. Physically, I've gone, you know, state to state in the United States and taught. I've seen that many people, you know, subhanAllah. And I did not, that's not from me. That's not from me. That's when Allah decides He'll give some barakah. That's, that's up to Him. Don't underestimate the value of the things that you do. Don't underestimate them. That's up to Allah. When He puts barakah in it, it will come beyond your expectations. مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ Allah will provide from where you can't even imagine. And Allah says His name is full of barakah. What does that mean for you and me? You know what that means? That when we say Allah's name, Ar-Rahman, and we do something in Allah's name, with Allah's name, calling on the barakah of Allah's name, then whatever we'll do, we do will produce good, but it will produce good more than expected, and the growth will continue and will not disappear. It'll keep going and going and going and going. You know, because of this one ayah, every Muslim is supposed to be an optimist. We should, we can never be pessimists. Whatever you do, maybe, look, I'm standing here, there's thousands of you in the audience. There's so many others that are watching online. Thousands of you. But maybe one of you is a Quran teacher. And you don't have thousands of students, you have one student. You opened up your madrasa, you sat in the masjid, and one student came to you. One student. And you might think, how is this any... One, one, one guy shows up? What's the point? Imagine if I showed up here, we flew here, and one person was sitting in the audience. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> but actually, this, this is just what I see. What you and I see. The barakah in teaching one person. The barakah in helping one person. The barakah in doing one good deed after you say, Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The results of that you cannot calculate because they are from Allah. And they will grow and grow beyond human expectation. Common sense, logic, mathematics cannot put it in, in size. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>